Today I'll be showing you guys a qualitative analysis lab. This lab is pretty cool because we're pretty much just dropping some chemicals into test tubes and seeing what happens. So in part A, I'm going to test for specific cations, and then in part B, I'm going to test for specific anions. So the first one I'm going to test for is for barium 2 plus ions. I'm going to put a few drops of barium chloride inside the test tube followed by acetic acid. And lastly, potassium chromate. This one's my personal favorite. And that yellow precipitate signifies a positive test. On to the next one. So this is actually an unknown. I'm going to be testing an unknown along with all of our cation and anion tests. And you guys can follow along and see what you think the unknown is and draw your own conclusions. So into this test tube, I've added some of the unknown, a bit of acetic acid and potassium chromate as we did in the known test. All right, next we will be testing for calcium two plus ions. This is our known test with calcium chloride. Bit of ammonia. And we're going to test to make sure that this solution has been made basic by the ammonia. So I've got a red litmus paper in my hands and putting a dab of that solution onto the paper. It's blue so it indicates that it is basic. And lastly I'm going to add some potassium oxalate to the solution. And that white precipitate there signifies a positive test on this one. So now we're testing the unknown. So our unknown solution followed by ammonia. And again, I'm going to test to make sure that it's basic. and a few drops of potassium oxalate. And like I said in the beginning, I'll let you guys come to your own conclusions about these unknowns. So maybe if you wanna follow along and write down observations, then maybe you could find out what the unknown is or maybe hypothesize about what you think it is. So next, we're going to test for an ammonium ion. That's two milliliters of ammonium chloride, followed by two milliliters of sodium hydroxide, and that's going right into the beaker as well. And then I've got litmus paper on a watch glass. I'm just gonna adhere it to the surface with a bit of water and stick it on top of that beaker. We're gently heating it to see if the vapors turn the litmus paper blue. And we've got a positive test there. So now we're doing the same process with our unknown. Ooh. Wasn't expecting that to happen. wash glass, litmus paper. All right, so now let's put that on a hot plate and see what happens. I'm not so sure about this one. What do you guys think is happening? And for our last test, we are doing a flame test. 
So this is for sodium ions. So first I'm cleaning the nichrome wire with 12 molar hydrochloric acid. Makes a really cool flame. And I'm going to repeat that until the flame is colorless or basically just back to that blue color. All right, here's the wire dipped in water. Not much is happening there. And this is our 0.2 molar sodium chloride solution. And this is a positive test here. You see that really bright yellow flame in the middle? That's exactly what we're looking for. All right, so now it's time to test the unknown. And I can't really see much happening, but I don't know. I'll leave that up to you guys. What do you think? Back into the lab for part B. We have the anion test. So here we're looking for sulfate ions. And our known test is going to be iron sulfate plus barium chloride plus HCl. And that white precipitate tells us that that is a positive test. So now let's check out the unknown. So I've got my unknown solution in that blast there. Just dropping a bit into the test tube. Adding some hydrochloric acid. And looks like some bubbles formed. There's that barium chloride. All right, on to iodine. The known test is sodium iodide. That's what I just put in there with acetic acid. plus potassium nitrate. And the brown color indicates a positive test. Now let's test our unknown for iodine. Alright, now we're on to bromine. That's Br minus anion that we're looking for. Into the test tube, I added sodium bromide plus chlorine water. And that was supposed to turn brown. I'm not really sure what happened there. And even though I didn't see the reaction I was hoping for for the known, I'm still going to test my unknown and just to see what happens. And during qualitative analysis, stuff happens and stuff doesn't. Um, it should be noted in your lab notebook that there was no visible reaction as opposed to no reaction because we can't actually tell if there was reaction happening or not. All right, so the next test is for the carbonate ion. And I just went ahead and did the unknown test because I was really pressed for time. But anyway, there's the unknown solid with sulfuric acid. And in the lab notebook, it said we should see gaseous evolution with the addition of sulfuric acid. And I'm taking a drop of barium hydroxide over the top of the test tube to see if it turns milky. And we've got a positive test there. So I'm next testing for chlorine ion. That's Cl minus. And I've got calcium chloride going right into the tube with some silver nitrate. Cool, that white precipitate means it's a positive test. And here goes our unknown. Alright, 
last one is the nitrate ion. So we've got sodium nitrate and iron sulfate, followed by some sulfuric acid. And be advised to be really careful with the concentrated acids in this lab. They are very dangerous. All right, so I'm gonna actually put the drops in and I let it sit for just a minute to see if anything formed. And I noticed that there was a brown ring. It's kind of hard to see, um, but it, there was a separation that meant that there was a positive test. So here goes our unknown test. We've got our unknown followed by iron sulfate really different reaction than what we saw in the first place so last step with the sulfuric acid So as you can see, there was a violent gas evolution and actually the test tube got really hot to where I couldn't even touch it at the bottom. Alright, so that's the end of this experiment today. It's a pretty cool experiment. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you saw something cool. If you have any questions, please let me know and let me know what you think about the unknowns.